thank you thank you very much shri asaduddin novesi ji madam i stand to oppose the demand demand for grants of year 2021 22 for the ministry of education and my primary reason of opposing this is that in this ministry demand there is no such concrete steps have been shown or taken in last 6 years by this particular ministry to improve uh, the education upliftment of the muslim minorities to ensure that the dropout rate uh, decreases and i put to, to to you madam to the uh, to the honorable minister that the literacy rate of muslims in the country is 68.5% the national literacy rate is 74.04% and the muslim female literacy rate is 62% and the national literacy rate is 65.44% now madam if you the own honorable ministers uh, ministry survey of 2018-19 says Uh, sorry, 1617 says that Muslim enrollment as percentage in the education in the primary and higher education is only 13.14 percent. His own survey of 2018-19 All India Survey for Higher Education shows that there are only 19.5 lakh Muslim students in higher education. Out of that, 9.93 lakh are boys, 9.65 lakhs are girls. That is only 5.23 percent. of the total enrollment in higher education the prime minister talked about i will give muslims in one hand uh, quran one hand computer his own ministry survey madam of 2018 19 the percentage of computers in muslim household is only 16% second lowest internet in household muslims only 32% again second lowest now when it comes to computer operations again second lowest 38% is own ministry survey thirdly madam may all may i also point out through you to the government that is own the, the kundu committee report has been given to the government the kundu committee report from page 74 to page 97 lays down all the ills which the muslims are facing and the reason for the highest dropout rate they say is they have listed out eight factors biggest is financial constraint you i had demanded removal of hat subsidy that 600 crore should have been given for muslim girls education no mention what what does the kundu committee report say madam at the age of 7 years there is 100% attendance is observed among all minorities among hindu obcs and other upper caste but for muslims it is 90% and 94% for sc and st drop out rate again madam at the dropout rate for muslim starts at the age of 10 years same for sc and st for other communities whether hindu obc is upper caste it starts from 11 years this in itself shows that you have not done anything for the education upliftment of muslims madam third point which i want to bring to your uh, to, to government notice through you is that the aligarh muslim university campus the honorable member from kerala has raised it kishan ganj in bihar is the most backward area of our country simanchal madam do you know that in this bed degree course there there is no affiliation given by national council for teacher education may i request the honorable minister sir at least give affiliation for that bed courses from national council for teacher education why haven't you opened more number of courses please i demand from the government allocate 500 crores in this kishan ganj amu campus to and start new courses that because that area of simanchal deserves this education institutes madam my fourth point which i want to bring to notice of the government is that uh, institute of institute of eminence why have you left out jami millia university the top 10 university of our country doesn't find a mention in the institute of eminence i don't know why such uh, biases is being shown in not including jami millia university madam my fifth point about national education policy i strongly condemn this approach of this government of promoting homogeneity in the country through national education policy the beauty of our country is that homogeneous you are doing that and then your nep does not talks about upliftment of urdu it does not talks about how you will control the dropout rate of muslims nothing is mentioned and and madam may i also bring to notice of you is that this whole total education budget is 
Out of that, 44,000 comes from education cess. 4,000 crores come from national investment fund. So basically, the fate of allocation, it depends on, on, on cess education and disinvestment proceeds. If tomorrow disinvestment proceeds or the cess education comes down, you will be the sufferer. It is, you have mentioned in your documents. Madam, my sixth point, uh, which I want to bring to the notice of the government is, is, is this not a fact? That the total union budget spending on education as percentage of union budget in 2015 it was 3.8. Look at your approach to the education sector. It has come down to 2.7%. This shows that you are not at all serious because your data says there is a drop of union budget spending on education as percentage of budget. Madam, my fifth point I want to know from the Honorable Minister, Sir, National Institute of Open Schools under Indian knowledge and heritage, you have included Ramayana and Gita, I have no issues. But why, why have you not included Quran, Bible and Guru Granth Sahib? And Madam, you are an eminent lawyer. You know law much better than me also. Article 28, Madam, by including teaching of Ramayana and Gita, in National Institute Open School, is it a violation of Article 28? A complete violation of Article 28. And what has stopped you from including Quran and Bible and Guru Granth Sahib? That is why I say that you do not believe in the diversity of this country. For everything you want to bring in your Hindu ideology in education, that is why, Madam, I stand to oppose. My demand is make scholarship for minorities demand driven. Make it demand driven every year, Madam. One crore Muslim boys and girls are being denied scholarship. Why? Because you have fixed a number. You proudly claim this number has been given. But one crore denied. This is the fate of the Muslim education in, in primary education, higher education. I hope that the government would, 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 would wake up from the slumber and do something constructive for the education upliftment of Muslim minorities. Thank you, Madam. Sri Sunil Kumar Soniji.